My name is Nicolas Nova. I'm a researcher at the Swiss Institute of Technology in Lausanne, here at EPFL. Uh, I'm interested in the user experience of, uh, of technology and how people are using technology, what, how they behave using certain type of technology, which are um, ur technologies of urban computing and uh, games, video games. Technologies, applications, services that will allow people to um, to navigate, to coordinate, to have a social relationship in the cities that would that would augment um, people's life in, in in the city. And it's all not only for for citizens, but also for municipalities or uh, city councils who need to have information about how people are living and if it's possible to to improve that uh, that experience. In the end, it's, it's about how to solve certain problems that, that people or municipalities have in, in cities. For municipalities, it could be uh, to gain more information about how people are living and are happy with certain things and unhappy with others, or how a certain phenomena that are uh, invisible, like pollutions, uh, could be m made more explicit so that actions could be taken uh, from, for this. Or it could be also to encourage certain forms of mobility. You, you can have uh, applications for, for car sharing, for example, or to, to, um, to encourage people to, um, to have different type of behaviors. Like in this age of sustainable development, it could be project that will encourage people to uh, use public transport, share their car, or share information about how they could uh, better navigate through the, through the city so that their, the consumption of energy would be lowered. You have researchers in um, technologies, architecture, urban planning who are working on that, but mostly it's also with uh, companies, small startups who are trying to uh, benefit from new technologies like mobile phones, applications, or uh, location-based services. You have also a certain kind of um, of people who are doing very interesting projects is artists, interactive artists or, uh, or um, new media, uh, people who are uh, also taking sort of critical perspective on how uh, academics or companies are trying to develop projects for, for cities. The most interesting projects in that field are not coming from companies or academics, it's mostly from artists like uh, this, pro this biomapping project in which you could map uh, your heartbeat or phys physiological features of people on urban maps or you have this project called Real Time Rome in, uh, at MIT in which they mapped the, uh, the mobile phone consumption in Rome so that they have the map of the city and on top of it you have information uh, like peaks about where were the, um, the mobile phone used at certain times of the day. The problem is that uh, you have so many different hardware, like there are 350 different uh, mobile phone models that it's very dif difficult to develop for certain phones. And then you have different software, there are different um, uh, languages, programming languages or programming platforms for phones, so it's, so it's difficult. And then you have uh, mobile carriers, we don't want uh, other carriers to, uh, to gain access to that data. So in the end, the, the market is very fragmented. It's very difficult to have a critical mass of users that will use those applications. But most of the, uh, the best practices in terms of usage are not happening on mobile phones, but more on the web, because uh, the critical mass of users on the web is uh, it's much more important. So for example, uh, recommend assistance of restaurants, of hotels. It's more used on the web, because it's easier to access than on, on mobile phones. I would say it's less um, a matter of measuring, but more of uh, understanding, apprehending what people are really doing with, uh, with the application, the urban computing application. And it could be something really different from what the designers had in mind when they developed it. When I think about the, the future of cities, it's, it's not the future, it's not about technology, it's about human needs. It's about what people want in certain, uh, certain places in cities. It's, the fact that they want to better navigate, they want to better reach uh, people who have the same interest. Sometimes they want to be alone and not re reach other persons. So it's, it, it would be a city or cities that would uh, be based on people's desires, needs, and, and, and way to, to behave rather than um, 
some cities in which technology is thrown to, to people in which they don't understand what's, what's happening.